You like America? Oh, there we have it. That's how you feel about this country? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you an update on the New York City migrants who assaulted the police officers and also a crazy video from CNN in which they were left speechless about these very same people. Now, before we get into that video, let's talk about what you just saw when I opened the video. Now, that was two of the so-called migrants, illegal aliens, criminal aliens, whatever you want to call them giving the middle finger to the camera as they left the courtroom. Now, remember in the previous video, if you saw it, I said that the people who attacked the police officers were arrested and then released immediately with no bail, no bail at all. Now, here's a question you may have for yourself. Hey, ABL, if you have criminal aliens, illegal aliens, asylum seekers, non-citizens, whatever they call who are arrested, booked and then released immediately what happens next do they just stay in new york city and wait to go to court is that is that what they do really if you have a so-called asylum seeker who's given the court date you think they're going to show up probably not same thing with this you think they're going to show up for a court date when you're talking about assaulting a police officer no now allegedly according to new york post at least Four or five of these guys have fled to California. They got on the bus like right after they were given the middle finger to the cameras. They got right on the bus, went across country to California. Now, some put a little bit of extra in there talking about, oh, they went to Mexico. Really? You think they went back to Mexico? Is, is that where you think they went? Or back to the country of origin, whether it be Mexico or Honduras, Venezuela, you think they went there or are they just chilling in another sanctuary place called California? Now, there's extradition laws in this country, but do you think California would send them back to New York to face any kind of punishment for what they did up there by assaulting not one but two police officers? I don't think so. Now, before I go any further and get any more triggered, let's look at this video right here from CNN. This Statement from the guest about these migrants will leave the panel stunned and speechless. And if you want to see it in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. You don't, you don't touch our police officers. You don't touch anybody. Thank you, everybody. I mean, we're hearing a change when it comes to immigration in general from President Biden on down. Do you hear her talk about that? It is also directly related to the fact that these were police officers. Does that have any impact? Does that change anything? Now, before he gets into his uh, take on what's going on with the officers being assaulted by the so-called migrants, criminal aliens, before he gets into that, are you buying what Kathy Holtz was talking about? Oh, well, they don't they don't touch anybody. Are you buying that? Because if that was the case, Mitch Hosel, then it wouldn't have been here from the beginning. They would have been back in their country of origin. The border would be closed down. You wouldn't be a sanctuary state. New York City wouldn't be a sanctuary city, New York City Mayor Eric Adams. But again, I'm getting triggered, so I digress. I'm going to let him give us two cents. Well, it's so complicated because, you know, you're a New Yorker. You move through the city every day as I do. We see these people, we touch these people, they're out looking for work, they're delivering our food, they're at the gas stations and the car wash. Uh, I mean, these are people who came in waves, you know, 170,000 probably to New York City. Um, but within that group, this hardworking, you know, throngs. Man, look, look, okay, I know you on CNN, but cut the nonsense, man. Anybody trying to hear that? And there's nobody trying to hear that, man. I, I'm not... I think the, the average person in this country is done with all the platitudes and the the, the night's talking. It's time to stop. The people in search of hope and a better life. There is this one percenter, you know, criminal element that looks at a different opportunity here. These individuals, I went over their rap sheets yesterday. Mm -hmm. Multiple charges, grand larceny, robbery, attempted robbery, grand larceny, grand larceny. Uh, this particular crew operated on mopeds and scooters. They were doing organized retail theft. They were doing snatches on the street, iPhones, iPads, clothing, so on and so forth. Um, one of them that they are still seeking 
has 10 charges on one day because he's part of a pattern that's been going on. And I'm looking at how do you get 10? How do you get 10 charges on one day? How does that really work? I mean, are you arrested 10 times or did you just do 10 things in one day and you got arrested one time for it? How does that really work? And how are these people allowed to be in your city, New York City? The dates that their arrest started, which is probably close to when they got here. They've only been here a couple of months. So what the detectives are telling me is they have crews here that operate in New York, do all their stealing, then go to Florida to spend the money and then come back. And I'm like, well, why don't they just stay and steal in Florida? And they said, because there you go to jail. Oh, wow. Yep. Great reporting. Yeah. Keep us posted on this. this is yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one thing about it. You know, when you go to Florida, you actually get locked up for what you do. There's no, okay, you could just commit crime, do whatever you want, and then go free. No, no, no. You go to Florida, you're going to get locked up. And they know that. These migrants, at a certain point, they're not dumb. As I close, I want to say this. The migrants aren't dumb. They know exactly what they're doing and how to get away with it. They know they can go to some of these soft places like a New York City, commit crime, and it's not going to be a penalty. You're wondering why they're flashing the middle finger when they leave court because they know you're not going to do anything. They don't respect the authority out there. They don't respect the police out there. Yeah, they're going to attack the police. They don't respect them. Why would criminals respect anyone who can't actually hold them accountable for their criminal actions? These criminal aliens are many. And they're going to target soft places like a New York City, like a Chicago, like left coast, California. They're going to steal things, sell things. They're going to bring in drugs, guns, all that good stuff. 1%. Is that what you think, my man? They're coming over here. They're bogarting the border. They're just plummeting. They're, they're, they're pummeling the border to get in here. They shouldn't be here. That's the reality. They should be back in the country of origin. Talking about, oh, they're fleeing persecution. Really? You know how much it costs to get over here? $5,000, 10000 U.S. dollars to get smuggled over here. How many Americans have that kind of money? Now, if I'm an American and I'm poor and I'm hungry and I don't have anywhere to live, I'm homeless, I'm working, but I'm still homeless. Can I go to your house, Mr. Lawyer Man on CNN? Can I go to your house? Hey, man, look, I'm just trying to find a better life. Can I go to your house? Better yet, can I go to Mexico with that kind of stuff? Can I go there with no passport? Can I go to China, North Korea, Japan, anywhere like that? Can I go to Israel with no passport and say, hey, man, I'm fleeing persecution. Is is that what's going to happen? Or am I going to get a little surprise? Okay, it's going to be the police. It's going to be the military. It's going to be all that on my high parts in 0.2 seconds over there. But over here, people could come over here, do whatever they want to do. And somehow, some... People are surprised when they come over here and do whatever they want to do when we, not me, but these leftists and the leftist places, they invite them to their location to do whatever they want to do, and they do exactly that. It's kind of a silly thing to get surprised at a thing that you are inviting, Miss Kathy Hochul, Eric Adams, etc. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's happening here? Do you think that there is room to be surprised at what's happening? Because, hey, man, these people are just trying to come work. They don't want to cause any problems. So when you have people that want to stomp police officers' heads on the ground on camera, that's so surprising. Why is it surprising when you invite people like that here? When they know before they come that New York City is soft. They got cousins and friends and whatnot over here already to say, hey, come on over. My, come on over, SA. It's, it's cool, SA. Come on over. It's good. Do whatever you want to do. That's what they're saying. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.